Hey guys, TP Aquatard with uh, my first series. I'm going to be working on uh, the Oregon Trail. A lot of you may remember playing this game back in the day. I definitely do, and I was a champ at it. So, without further ado, let's travel the trail. This is just a little beginning dialogue explaining you're about to begin a great adventure traveling the Oregon Trail across the rugged landscapes of North America. Basically, you're setting off on a trail. You must register your name, the names of your party members, and your wagon party, and your occupation. After that, you need to buy supplies and make other important decisions. So, wagon party. I will be the ringleader, I guess. Because I'm cool. Um, going to be adding my friends Cody and Joey. Because we didn't have enough party space, so they're one person. Uh, Lyra's will be joining the journey. Queen X Claire will be joining. And Punk Aaron. Um, I'm going to go with Merchants. They get a little bit more money. And you get a bonus at the end. You need to decide when to set off on the trail. Uh, I usually pick May because, you know, if you go too early, you don't have anything to hunt. You go too late, winter will come, and you will lose supplies rapidly. So I will go with May. So instead of having $800, we have $1,200. So we are going to buy 10 oxen. We are going to buy 50 sets of clothing. Well, 30. We'll put 30. Whatever. Uh, 50 bullets. Boxes of bullets. We'll buy three spares of each. Can we fit 2K in there? We could, but we don't need that much. So, I am going to only buy 1250. So, with that, let's start our journey. We are setting off from Independence, Missouri now. And let's begin our Oregon Trail. Hooray! So, this is it. The whole game is basically this. Boring, right? But no, it's so exciting. Just saying. A little bit about the menu. Shit. Well, within the first 30 seconds of set off, an ox is sick. Anyway. You get options. You can drop stuff. You know, check your status. Um, divvy your rations. You can buy stuff um, by merchants. Uh, you can trade with fellow people. You talk to people, you rest, change the pace of your wagon. I really wouldn't advise this. And you can hunt for food. So as you can see, we are at the Kansas River Crossing. So, let's continue. And you get options. Um, you can cross the river. It's currently 646 feet across and 8 feet deep in the middle. I'm obviously not going to attempt to ford the river because not happening. Caulking it, our thing looks a little heavy. Um, not going to caulk it. So I'm just going to take a ferry. Safest way to do it, I think. And it's only $5. So, and I got to wait two days. I don't really care. That is totally fine with me. If I don't want to lose supplies. And we made it across. So, we can continue our journey. Oh, we found some fruit on the way. Random events like that pop up all the time. And some are good. And most of them are bad. So you just gotta make sure you look out for those. So, we're continuing. And we broke an axle wheel. You get an option. Do you want to spend a day fixing it? Or do you just want to replace it now? I'm going to try and fix it. Beast. That way we don't have to waste time. You know, we don't have to waste another axle. Oh. Well, 
our first passenger, Lyra's, has broken her leg. So, we will carry her back to the wagon. Oh, you took the wrong trail and we lost a date. Great. So we'll take Lyra's in the wagon and heal up her leg and we'll be good as new. After we wait another day because of heavy fog. Yay. Isn't wasting time fun? <sighs> oh, we made it to the big blue river crossing. So, let's continue. Now we have a 239 foot river at 4 feet deep. We can't take a ferry. All we can do is ford it or caulk it. I'm going to caulk it because, again, not taking the chance. It's too deep for the oxen. So, we're floating, floating, and we made it across. No troubles. Beautiful. Heavy fog again. There's a lot of fog on this trail. Starting to worry a little bit. But let's continue. Yeah. God damn it. So much fucking fog, man. So, again, we're traveling. And we found some wild fruit. Nice. Um. You know. There's not really much I could commentary on this. Because you're doing. Just sitting here, basically, I guess. But I do have to say it's a good game. If you give it a shot, you know, it's fun. It's definitely a time killer. Um, but anyway, we are officially at Fort Kearney. This music has always confused me. It sounds like some bagpiping Scottish music. But we are in. I know they played some bitchin' bagpipes. But anyway, we're gonna continue. Um, let me show you the hunting. Because we're kinda getting low on food. Um, animals come across your screen and you basically shoot them. Some oxen do not like to go down. The fucking oxen, man. You only get 20 shots, too. Let's see. Per round. We can only carry 200 pounds of food. But we got 2,000. So we help the population, right? Let's continue. <laughs> Yay! What's our next stop? We have to go to Chimney Rock. Which I believe on the map is here. It's very exciting. The music tends to stay the same, and after 45 seconds of playing, it'll switch music. It's kind of odd, and. Fog again. Nice. This is a very foggy beginning to a long journey. So we have traveled a total distance so far of 415 miles. So far. It's pretty exciting, guys. But make sure to tune in for the next episode and see where our travelers will be at next. Thank you for watching and make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Tell me what you think about this. Tell me what I should do more of. Tell me if I did this, you know. I base these things off of your comments, so just let me know. Alright? Thanks for watching, guys.